bank employees owe large responsibility to uphold customers trust even suspicion of fraud with some credibility sufficient to dismiss from the service according to delhi i court for more information we shall move to inside the video i kindly request all the viewers to watch this small video in full now we shall go to inside the video the delhi i court has observed that the employees and officials working in banks have a larger responsibility of ensuring the integrity of the banking system and maintaining the trust of the millions of customers who repose faith in them observing that the banking system is the backbone of any country's economy justice pradibha m singh said that once there is a loss of confidence that too by a bank qua one of its officials the standard on which such a loss of faith or confidence is to be tested cannot be a very high standard even a suspicion or doubt with some credibility or some evidence would be sufficient to objectively uphold the dismissal from service it the court was dealing with a case where a bank's employee had misused his status of being a single window operator for his own personal benefit by getting the amounts deposited by the customers in his own personal account although returning them later with the interest the state bank of india had filed the petition challenging orders dated 14th march 2016 passed by the presiding officer cgit as well as the final award dated 28th december 2016 in the claim field by the employee the respondent employee was working as a single window operator at the bank and was dealing with the senior citizen saving scheme in 2010 he was terminated by the bank effect from 28th may 2010 for allegedly making entries of customers in his personal account void the first impugned order dated 14th march 2016 the cgit held while deciding as a preliminary issue that the departmental inquiry conducted by the bank was violative of principles of natural justice and was illegal the cgit void the second impugned award dated 28th december 2016 held that the bank could not adequately discharge its burden to prove misconduct by the respondent and reinstated the employee with full back wages and his claim petition was allowed the question whether the bank suffered any loss or a consequence of his actions would not be relevant for the defense of the respondent in any event this court is of the opinion that the incidents which have surfaced may just be those which have come to the knowledge of the officials of the bank such incidents in any branch of a bank would lead to a loss of trust and faith in the bank especially in the case of local customers as they can spread such incidents through word of mouth the court to sit it added thus the loss is not to be adjudged only monetarily but also in terms of goodwill faith of the customers in the bank and the consequent loss of trust for a bank this by itself is sufficient it is the clear conclusion of this court that when there is a loss of confidence reinstatement or not to be permitted the court also took note of the respondent statement before the enquiry officer wherein he prayed for leniency and a reinstatement the court said that it was a clear admission by the respondent of the irregularities committed by him in such a situation the bank cannot be punished for not showing leniency the bank in the opinion of this court has rightly held its employee accountable 
to a higher degree as it is expected of any financial institution the court said the court concluded that the respondent had indulged in improper conduct and hence his dismissal under such circumstances after holding a detailed departmental inquiry was not illegal and could not be faulted with the court therefore set aside the two imbued orders and upheld the punishment of termination awarded to the respondent further since the termination has been held to be valid only today the respondent if he had worked during this period would have earned his monthly salary owing to the cgit's order if the stay had not been granted under these circumstances this court is of the opinion that a sum of rupees 20 lakhs ought to be released as lump sum payment to the respondent in the facts and circumstances of this case the court added it directed the bank to pay a lump sum amount of rupees 20 lakhs within 4 weeks the remaining amounts in the fdr including the interest component shall be encashed by the bank itself in addition the respondent shall be released all his statutory dues such as provident fund gratuity etc without making any deductions until the date of termination in case the same has not already been released within 4 weeks the court said hello viewers from this video you may learned bank employees owe large responsibility to uphold customers trust even suspicion of fraud with some credibility sufficient to dismiss from the service according to delhi i court if you are liking this video means kindly press the like button as well as share to your friends and relatives and also i request all the viewers to subscribe this aravindar ane arul channel moreover i thank you for your valuable time spent for watching this video your response has been highly appreciated once again thank you very much